Hi, this is Jeff Cobb, and I'm here with Jim Parker of Digitel. And Jim, thanks for taking a, a minute to talk. Now, I know you've been working in this whole market of uh, lifelong learning, continuing education, professional development for a long time now. What are you seeing these days in terms of the, uh, the challenges and opportunities that, that your customers are wrestling with? Well, we're really seeing uh, a struggle with people getting over the cannibalization issue. Mm. So meeting planners are feeling that if they live stream their event, people aren't going to come. And the reality is, is if you remember in the 60s, when the networks approached the NFL owners to broadcast their games, right. unanimously 100% said, no, 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 said yeah. over my dead yeah, body, no i got to sell tickets. Yeah. 40 years later, not one of them would trade their broadcast revenues right. for their ticket sales. Right. We're seeing the same thing. So we're actually seeing game-changing results from organizations live streaming their meeting, whether it's 20 to 30% conversion rates for people attending the physical meeting next year, or literally driving 10 times the revenue of their investment through charging for the attendance, especially for accredited programs. So the results are really impressive, but the boards of the organizations are struggling with, our annual meeting is our baby, we, we don't want to upset that cart. Mm. And I think until you know more data is out there and there's a change and a shift in their thinking, there's going to be a struggle for many organizations. Right. And as you know and I know, the saddest part is their members and their millennial members will look for the groups that are offering those type of opportunities and those that wait yeah. may end up finding that their membership recedes rather than grows. Yeah, so, so that's both a, a challenge and an opportunity, obviously, kind of all wrapped up in one. How are you, you know, as a company and as a technology solution, uh, helping organizations really you know, come to terms with that and, and take advantage of the opportunity? Yeah, so what we're really doing is we're focusing on business models. Mm. What are the ways that organizations can leverage their content to actually, you know, um, drive revenue. Right. You know, many of them use platforms that aren't designed for driving revenue and content distribution. They're really designed for higher learning, an LMS type of platform where it's for course creation and that type of scenario when really the results of driving non-dues revenue, driving attendance, brand, and exposure are, are really the value adds of delivering your content online. Right, right. And so, you know, as you look out, uh, you know, say three, five years into the future, I mean, you know, hopefully more organizations are coming on board with what you're talking about. But uh, I mean, what, what has you most excited about the, the potential out there for, for organizations, for lifelong learners? Um, you know, what are the things that uh, uh, really get you jazzed on, on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, what really gets me jazzed is on Monday morning, I get a report of all of our virtual and online events for the week. Mm. And that report includes the user comments, the actual person who who's on the computer for seven hours a day, mm -hmm. and their comments is what really gets me jazzed. Uh, you know, I haven't approached this, co this organization, and now I can't wait to attend their meetings. I should be a member of this organization. You know, thank you for providing me an opportunity to be online, and one of the craziest things is, is I am meeting more people online than I do when I go to a physical meeting. <laughs> the networking, and then the retention. So there's been studies done, and when you're at a conference, there's a lot of distraction. Hmm. When you're at home and you're focused on just the content, the retention of that content. So the crazy part about it is, is it's the, the data that we're getting from the end user that to me just says, this is inevitable and it's just a matter of enough members saying, why are you not doing this? We want this. And as you know, when someone's excited with the use of the product, that's going to drive ultimately what the client does. So that's what excites me most. And then of course, clients coming to me saying, wow, we thought we were a face-to-face -face company mm -hmm. and we're generating 10 times the revenue online. We need to rethink our whole model. Right. Those right. types of scenarios are like game changing that we yeah. just didn't realize what's going to happen. I mean, we got into this just uh, thinking we were going to provide the people who couldn't come to the meeting an alternative. 86% of people online have never been to a physical event. Those are some staggering statistics when you look at how do you reach students, yeah. millennials, international. RSNA streams to 7,000 doctors at 143 different countries. Those are some real exciting numbers. 
Well, I think no doubt we are going to see some major changes in business models and organizations uh, in this business of continuing education and professional development in, in, the, in the coming year. So thanks for taking a minute to talk, Jim. Oh, thank you, and I appreciate all you do.